Well guys, while I warm up some cold coffee, you guys can listen to some music. What are we gonna talk about today? We are gonna talk about a unique little device, tool, multi-tool, if you wanna call it that, that I have. It is the Case Knives Hobo. So this, this is something I've had for a while. So let's go ahead and uh, if you're watching on headphones, turn down the volume because here comes a little bit of music. First of all, in case you guys haven't noticed, there are new shirts in the merch store. Um, these are the customizable ones. They don't have the full 30 logo anywhere on them. You just have to erase full 30 out of the window and put whatever you want. I had to put my name in. I think Nico's going to get one for, uh, we're going to Blade Show West. I think we're both going to wear like the same style shirt with a uh, crazy sharp and the name on it because he's my channel manager. So be, but that's not what we're here to talk about. We're going to talk about this. This is a Case Hobo, and what the Case Hobo was, uh, there's other versions of this on the market. There are These are the eating utensils that you can take with you, and they have the multiple. They have a spoon, they have a fork, and they have a knife. Now, there's different people that do them. These happen to be the nicest, in my opinion, some of the nicest ones out there. I know that there's some cheaper versions, um, but what it is, is it's, and we'll look at it closer, it's a three-piece disassemblable piece of cutlery that you can take with you and have a sheath so we're gonna go ahead and turn this around because i got news for you this thing is <laughs> it's beautiful and i forget that i have this i used to use this at work all the time to eat uh, i will tell you this is an old version um, there are newer ones that are stamped differently uh, they look a little different they don't look different but they're stamped differently so we're gonna have to make the comparison from this based on the new numbers. So I'm not 100% sure it's gonna be exactly right. So uh, without any further ado, give me a couple minutes, I'll get everything set up and I will meet you down at the counter and we'll take a good close look at this Case Hobo um, because I really do like this thing. It was one of the best little uh, secondhand purchases I've made in a very long time. So hang on a second, I'll meet you down here. All right guys, let's go ahead and take a good look at this thing. So this is a, is a design made by case you can see mine's kind of old got a good bit of patina and stuff on it i actually purchased this from a gentleman who had it in his toolbox in his garage for years and years and years and never used it and just he was like yeah he sold it to me for next to nothing i actually feel bad now that i know what they cost but what this is is it's a set of it's a set of eating utensils that um that lock in place and as you can see what locks it in place here which is kind of clever is that piece right there. So the uh, the little pins, when you put it back together, the little pins go in, let me get this the right way, the pins go in, the slots, and you push it up, and then when this kicks down, it locks it in place, and makes it one unit for carry. And so what you have is a full set of knife, fork, and spoon. And I'm not gonna lie to you, I used this when I worked for the government as a civilian for a long time. It was in my desk. It was what I used for eating a salad and cutting up anything that I had for lunch. The spoon isn't great, but in a pinch, if you're out in the woods, hey, it works. And so these were really attractive. This one's got, they sell one that's close to this. It's called an amber bone peach seed jig, um, but it's not quite exactly this. And I don't know if it's because this bone has acquired some discoloration over the years or anything like that. But yeah, these things, these things are nice to have. They come in handy. Uh, they can, you can purchase a separate belt sheath. This is a fairly old sheath um, that like rode around in his toolbox for a long time. When I bought it from him, it went, you know, I took it and I took it to work. So you can buy a sheath for it, but they're really nice to have in a pinch if you want to have some, uh, some eating utensils that you could take with you someplace and they don't take up as much space and they're really handy. Like I said, you put it all back together, locks in place. You can use this as a bottle opener, have done it a bunch of times, pop open a beer bottle or a soda bottle or whatever you, you want. Um, and then you can just put it on your belt and carry it. Now it is a little bit he heavy, but let's get into some, let's get into the specs that they have listed. So the only place that I found this was on Amazon 
and on case.com on their actual on the on the company website. So on the company website, they have the information. So I can't guarantee that the information about the new ones is correct based on this being a little a good bit older. Uh, the guy had said he'd had it for years, um, like 10 years or so by the time I bought it. And I've had it for five or six. So uh, what they have listed is that it is a uh, blade length is 3.24 for the blade. Uh, the, the spoon is a little bit longer and the fork is a little shorter. So uh, I remember right, the blade length was 3.24. The fork is 3.15 and the um, the uh, spoon is uh, 3.45, but it has a closed length of 4.13 inches. And for those of you that are gear guys, they say it's listed at seven ounce, 7.7 .7 ounces, but we'll bring out the uh, Nick Shabazz scale and see here what they have it here in. Let's do ounces first. Yeah, seven and five eighths. So that's a little bit more than seven and a half, so 7.7. .7. And then in grams, um, 216 grams. Is that correct? If I go back to zero, 216 grams. So it's not light, um, but when you figure, we'll figure that out later. When you figure that you have three total items, that's like having three items together, Not wouldn't necessarily call them knives, but so, yeah, these things are attractive. They are a nice way to have some stuff with you. And then you can purchase a sheath separate. You can either, you can buy them like this and then just keep them in a desk drawer or whatever, which is how mine usually sat. Or you can have a sheath so you can put it on your on your belt. I don't know how well it would ride. It is thick. It's a thick boy. Um, but yeah, you can see Case and Sons. I think he said that he got the sheath a while after he was going to have his, he got this for some reason and then was going to have his, give it to his son and he got a sheath for it. The sheath is actually newer than a knife, but not by a whole lot. So yeah, guys, that's, I mean, that's pretty much it. I, I don't want to have, we're not going to do a cut test or anything with it. It is a, I mean, it's a fairly decent little knife that comes with it and it does take a really good edge and it, you know, if you're using it just as a cooking or eating utensil, it works really well. Uh, but it does, it does get really, really sharp, but you know, it's, it's, um, it is just basically a case stamped blade, like all their other knives. And, uh, but I mean, you can't go wrong with it. So let's go ahead and we'll turn this around. I'll give you a final thoughts on it and some price. So, like I said, guys, this, this is something that's really, it's really nice and handy to have. And it's like having, it's like carrying a pocket knife with all your utensils in it. Uh, I will say that, like, it, does it replace a pocket knife completely? No, because to comfortably use it, you don't want these attached. Well, when I say comfortably, it's as comfortable as you can get with those spikes sticking up, which isn't bad. I mean, if you're just using it for some light cutting, like you're cooking something and you, you know, you're cutting off a piece of meat and chopping it up and, and slicing off a piece of meat for yourself to eat, perfectly fine. But it's not as comfortable as a dedicated pocket knife such as what's in my pocket today, which is the, the Wii Knife Minax. Um, but, you know, the only thing you can do with this is cut. With this, you have a spoon, a fork, uh, and a knife. The other nice thing is uh, I kept this in my desk because there was a lot of times that I had a salad with whatever I was eating and I didn't want to have to go find a plastic fork or something. So this, you know, it's very, very functional. Um, you can eat using the spoon. The spoon works. It's just a very small spoon. So you're just gonna take smaller bites. But yeah, it's really nice items. Some of them, some of them are, uh, they sell them in different style handles and things like that. And there's other versions of this out there. This is the one made by Case. So let's go ahead and get in price first, because these, these ones are not cheap. So from Case, and right now they're out of stock, they're $131, but I did find one that looked really, really similar to this one. Like I said, the one that I found that looked the most similar to what I have is an amber bone peach seed jig. Um, so I found that on their site and on Case's site and Amazon. On Amazon, this is only 103. So it's like, uh, it's almost $30 cheaper on Amazon. So, you know, the sheath is sold separately. And so I saw the sheaths on some of the websites um, as much as $50. It's not an item that I, that I found real easily. So if you wanted to get it with the sheath, you'd be looking at about 180 bucks all told, 
Um, I do know that the reason I have one is as at my friend's house, oh, all oh, this has been years ago and I, I saw, he got one of these for Christmas and I was like, oh yeah, I should get one of those. And I happened to find one completely out of the blue. I, I bought it from an old guy. I was buying something. I went to go look at something else. We we're going to do a firearm sale. I was going to purchase a firearm from him. We were going to transfer it. And I got there and I didn't like um, the handgun that I was looking at. So uh, I didn't buy it, but I, I asked him, I was like, how much would you like for that? Because it was in the same area. He had had it in the same area. And I was like, okay, uh, but I will buy that. And I bought it for a song. I think I paid him 40 bucks for this. So, uh, but it came with the sheath. So nice little thing, just a little bit of a just a little content for you guys. One of those things that I have that, that I forget about, uh, but it is one of my favorite items. It comes in really handy for a lot of stuff. Uh, I used it, like I said, I used it for about six years as every day that I eat lunch at the office, that that's what I used to eat with. That way I didn't have to, you know, have silverware and add waste and put it in the trash and everybody forgets to take the trash out with dirty forks and spoons in it. Next thing you know, you got bugs and, and stuff. I could just take this stuff right to the to the little break room and rinse them off after I was done eating. So guys, that's it. Like I said, go visit the merch store. I'm going to link a video channel uh, here. It's uh, one of the guys that reviewed the uh, Sea Snake. He's got a, a brand new channel pretty much. Not very many subscribers. Seems like an all right knowledgeable kind of knife guy. I'm going to link that in the corner. If you like the videos, give them a thumbs up. If you don't like them, give them the thumbs down, but please try and tell me why. If you really like the videos, there's an applause button below where you can donate uh, money directly to the channel in like a small increment. And if you want to become a member of the channel for some of the bigger giveaways and stuff that I'm doing and to help the channel so I can do some more stuff, um, then by all means, there is a membership uh, tab below where you can join and, uh, and be a monthly member. And I have videos that are exclusive to some of the paying members. I have a top tier uh, membership that allows you access to sharpening tutorials. So just something to keep in mind, guys. I love you all. Take it easy. And I will see you in the next video.